It was a family who sat down at their Thanksgiving dinner and one of the little boys said to his mother, why do we always have turkey? And the mother said, well, it's a tradition. And he said, well, what's a tradition? And his brother spoke up and said, well, a tradition is that you, some, you keep doing something over and over and over and again, but you forget why you do it. We have to not forget why we do things like Thanksgiving. You and I remember with the story of the pilgrims and so forth, and actually the first Thanksgiving in history was after a very difficult harvest. They didn't have everything that they had hoped for, but they were people filled with gratitude for being in the new land, and they wanted to set aside a very special time to give thanks to God. They were satisfied with what they had, that God had taken them and brought them so far. And I think that should be in our hearts too. Research tells us more and more that the most successful people in the world or the most happiest people in the world are those who are grateful. If people forget to be grateful, to be thankful for what they have and to realize that it came from God who gave them all the talent and ability to obtain what they did, that they will forget, soon even forget God and there will not be happiness in their lives. So being grateful brings happiness. There was a, um, another family who sat down to dinner and said, and they had the tradition of each one going around the table and just saying something that they were grateful for. And one after another, they, each person listed some beautiful things they were thankful about. And one of the little girls suddenly said, I'm grateful that I'm thankful. And what a profound response. I'm grateful that I'm thankful. And that's really what we should be. We're here today in this church today because we're grateful, because we're thankful. And as we prepare to celebrate the day with our families and our friends, it is a day of thanksgiving. There was an immigrant family who came from Vietnam, and the children were struggling a bit learning English. And one of the little boys had most trouble pronouncing his G's. And so when it came to saying the word Thanksgiving, he said, thanks living. And people kept saying, no, it's Thanksgiving, but he, he couldn't do it, thanks living. When you think about it, isn't that what it should be? Thanks living, that we should live in thanks to God for all the things that we've received each day, have lives of thanks living. So we come here today because we have hearts that are grateful. The Lord says we should put on compassion, kindness, humility, tenderness, and charity toward one another, and above all things, be thankful. In the Gospel, it's one of the only times in the Scriptures where Jesus tells people to be grateful, or he emphasizes the need to be grateful. All the other times, he leaves it to ourselves. And so today we're here thanking God for all the gifts we've received and above all, for the gift of his son, Jesus, who gave us his body and blood in the Eucharist that we're about to receive. We all have many needs, and we pray every day for the needs that we have, and God wants us to bring our needs to him. But today is a day where we have to be thankful for all that we have received from the Lord, and there's so much to be thankful for. We're offering the Mass today. It's a sign for the parish, but I understand it's the third anniversary of Mike Burt's death three years ago. I see his family is here this morning. And I'm thankful for all the Mike Burts that we have had in our parish. Mike was a man who was very dedicated and committed to the parish. He served Mass every day, um, went to the nursing homes with the Eucharist. He did so many wonderful things. And so we don't forget that among our greatest things to be thankful for today are our families and the people that have been such a great influence in our lives. And for me, it's a day to say so much thanks for all of you and for all the people like Mike Burt that, that so committed themselves like Mike every day. Every day he was committed to this parish. And so we thank God for him and for his family today. And so with those thoughts in mind, hopefully we'll go forth and in the midst of eating dinner and watching football, um, we'll be able to really just continue to give thanks to God for all his many blessings.